ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel here today, and we're back for another recording slash live streaming tutorial here today. It has been a while since I've done one of these, so I decided since it's been over a year since my most popular video was a PlayStation 4 tutorial, which got over 400,000 views, I decided I was going to do an update uh, video. Since so many people watched the old one, I wanted to make sure I did an update, so I've done that before with the Streamlabs, the Twitch, and the Mixer ones. So today, my friends, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream off the console directly to PS4 and Twitch. It appears since the last time I made this video, they did get rid of daily motion, so you no longer can stream off the console directly to daily motion. So I'm going to rehash everything that I did in that original video. If you want to check out the original video, I'll link it in the card in the top right and in the description down below, guys. Let's go for 1,000 likes if we can. Greatly would appreciate that. So firstly, guys, I'm going to go through everything I did in the original video, and then I'll explain what's new and what you can do. So firstly, guys, what we want to do here is launch a game. For example, I'm going to launch Fortnite Battle Royale. That's the first thing you have to do to stream. You have to have a game active. So once you start the game up, hit the share button, and then click broadcast gameplay. And then it'll give you two options. You either can pick Twitch or YouTube, and it says gameplay may broadcast may include personal information of you and others, such as real names, online IDs, text chat, and voice chat. You should have other players' permission before you broadcast gameplay contain their personal information. That's basically their disclaimer there. So, for example, we're going to go on YouTube, and you can pick whatever one you want, and it'll give you a bunch of options. So, firstly, what you're going to do here, video from PlayStation camera. So, the PlayStation camera is basically your face cam that you can use. If you want to use it, there's a... Um, there is a plug in the back of the console where you can plug in. I think the PlayStation cameras are around 60 bucks. I think. Don't quote me on that. It might, it might have actually been cheaper since the time has passed. But if you plug it in, this will actually be enabled. And I'll do that later in the video showing off how the camera looks and stuff. So if you want to include your audio, you hit this. Uh, hit this button. You can use your Blue Yeti. If you have a Blue Yeti, you can use your uh, headphones. I don't know if you can use a... Uh, you can use like uh, Astro mic, uh, PlayStation 4 mic. You can plug it in straight to the co uh, console directly if you want to hear, or just plug it into your actual, uh, you know, whatever mix amp or everything you use. Then you also got the display comments. So if you want to see comments on your screen instead of having to go on your phone, you can do this. But remember, also the people watching the stream will see this as well. If you do turn this off, people will view the stream as this. If you turn it on, people will view it as that. So then it gives you your channel name. Once you link your channel, it'll give you like a, a PS4 link. You'll have to link your YouTube channel and everything. It'll give you like a verification code and everything you have to do. So once you link all that, it should be like set up just like this. And then eventually, you know, we'll keep that on. Then the title. So just a note, since the last time I did this, you used to be able to change it in the middle of the stream. But now there's a glitch kind of on the console where you can't update your title and description once you go live. So make sure before you go live that your title slash your description is like a hundred percent good like make sure it's not you know what you don't want it because you can't update it once you go live and you have to end the stream and reset up a new stream if you want to change everything so your title you can put whatever the hell you want it's up to remember a hundred uh hundred digits the description i think it's up to five thousand and then basically copies your youtube like channel description that's straight from it you can obviously change it delete a bunch of stuff and all that if you want and then once you're done with the description and title you go down to your quality you have a ton since the last time we went over this they didn't have 60 frames per second now you can run 60 frames per second if your internet's really good and you want to run you can run 720 high 60 frames per second or 720p high they do not have 1080p though yet who knows maybe they may add it eventually and then you have your privacy which is public again YouTube has public private or enlisted as their three and then you have your automatic tags that they put in, which is the PS4 Live, PlayStation 4, Sony Interactive, and Fortnite. And then you could put a bunch of other tags, you know, such as maybe your channel name, or which should already be included, your, uh, at least your PlayStation ID, you can include in it, or you can turn it off. And then maybe put some like Fortnite Battle Royale, Fortnite Live, YouTube, etc. And uh, then you could send an invitation. You could basically click uh, Select Players here. And once you click this, you can actually invite certain friends um, straight off your console. If you have maybe a friend that you want to watch it, maybe you don't want your friends to know, I wouldn't do this if you have any friends that you think might want to actually uh, watch the, the live stream or not. You can do it from your custom list too, or, or even people you follow yourself or players you've met. 
in other parties. But that's if you want to invite people to your streams. And then you can share the link on social media. If you have a Twitter, um, you can share here. I don't know if there's a Facebook, but it says share a link. You need to turn on if you want to share your link on Twitter. Do that. And then basically this is what the tweet out will be. Um, this is what it said. This is exactly what the tweet will be on Twitter with the link. Check out my broadcast PlayStation 4, PS4 Live. And then you hit the start broadcasting button. Now, there is advanced options. Let's go into those advanced options really quick. So once we do the camera a little bit later in the video, I'll show that off. But here's your audio sharing settings. If you want to include your microphone audio and video clips, include microphone audio from the headset or place for cameras. So you want this if you want to hear, have people hear you, enable it. Include microphone audio from broadcast, include microphone audio from the headset and place for broadcasting if you want to hear, have people again hear you when you're talking your microphone. And share party audio. Remember, people will, in your party, at least your individual party members or friends, will need to have their audio shared if you want to hear them. Even if you have this enabled, those people do need to have their uh, party audio shared for them to be able to be heard. Which remember you could set that from the party and I'll explain that in a minute how you do that. Then you can display messages to spectator comments which we showed off earlier if you want to do that. And then you can change the message to spectator, maybe just say hi or uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new, etc. And you could change your background. You do gray, blue, uh, brownish, orange, whatever color you fit and then you know, for example I can just put Hi, and see it updates on the bottom there. A bunch of just H's, and see it just updates. And you can just you don't like it, delete it. You can back out of that. You can turn it off. You don't want it on. Then you can do comments to speech, where basically it's read out by kind of like a. It's not really Cortana, but it's kind of like a PS4 default woman kind of reading thing. I don't really know how to describe it. Like kind of like a Siri thing that just reads out comments. I wouldn't really recommend it because people put some pretty vulgar words. It reads them out. Sometimes it may blur them out, but it does read them out most of the time. And then you can link your community to your broadcast, which is new. Since the last time I did this, you can enable community link, and then you can link your community. My community is down the bottom, so I just linked it. And it'll basically encourage your audience to join your community using the community link from PlayStation. Community members also have extra live broadcasts from the community, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. Now, if we went through Twitch, we're going to go through Twitch. Um, Twitch basically has a pretty similar thing too. They don't have the tags, they have the same uh, display message spec here. You can set your title. I don't know if the title changes. Then you can set your quality again. They have 540p, which actually YouTube does not have as well. They have the invitation, the share link, and the comment again in their advanced settings. Remember, they do not have the tags if there aren't tags on Twitch. Um, you have audio sharing of the same message spec here, comment speech, link community broadcast. So that's it for this, guys. I'm going to go through the PlayStation camera thing, so let's get straight into that. Alright, so once you have your camera on, it'll be automatically set as your microphone. I don't know if you want to have it as your microphone, but it will be automatically set as it. So all you have to do is hit the button, and then you got the camera set up. So, obviously, you can move it around in the camera video settings. Now, you can kind of see me here. What's up, everybody? How we all doing today? Um, so what you firstly want to do, maybe adjust it up so it matches the face a little bit, but you can move it um, around horizontally if you want, and then you can change it up. So since I have the comments kind of on the screen, we can't move it. So we want to take the comments off, and with the comments being off, we can move the camera around. So we can go upper right, we can go lower left, we can go lower right, or we can go upper left, upper right, yeah, exactly. You can go anywhere. Left, upper right, lower left, lower right. It's just personal preference at that point. Then you can pick the size. You can go small, wide, medium, or large. Large, probably too big. Personally, my preference would be medium. It's, it's, it's big enough and it doesn't take up too much of the screen. So people can at least see your face. And then you can obviously flip horizontal if you want. And then you can change the background, the circular, kind of cuts off your face, but you got auto cutout, chroma key, and then you got do not change, and then you got the effects, you got comic, it's like, I don't know if you want to do that, pixelate, nah, not really, scan lines, I don't know, 
to play camera. See, I don't like these really. Just personally, I'd say none for that. And you can turn your brightness up, contrast, and transparency. How transparent you want your uh, camera to be with the game. And then if you're having trouble finding your face, a little option here called Find Face. If you put your face in front of the camera, it's going to be searching for your face. And once it does find it, it'll actually auto-adjust the camera to your face. Now, I don't know here, and, and sometimes it won't, it's, it's kind of shaky here, it cannot find face. But one, if you're able to get it set, it will find your face on Mac. I don't know if it's actually going to be able to find mine here. Probably not, because mine's already kind of already in front of it. But if it does find it, you can be good, and then you can view it from the full screen if you want. If you want that kind of view. Um, and this is pretty much kind of how it looks if you got it like full screen like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool to be honest. But that's it. If you guys did enjoy this video, again, again, if you want to have your party shared again for PlayStation after you launch the party, I was going to show you guys how to do this. Um, all you have to do is. In the party options, there's an option where you can uh, share your voice. I'm pretty sure it's in party settings. And then allow voice to be sure you can put always allow, allow for current party, do not allow. Put on always allow or allow for current party if you want it to be heard, if you're, if, for example, one of your friends is broadcasting. But that's been it, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video again, please make sure to like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what do you think of this. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment them for me, and I'll be sure to get them. And it's been a pleasure, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and we'll catch you all next video. Peace and love.